going to use this guy again. I'm going to use a white card base that is five and a half this way, eight and a half this way, scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to use that guy as my base. This time I want to do the female and I want to try doing something different. I'm going to leave this because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to stamp her and then cut this out with an oval, with one of those small oval dies that I have. And then um, pop it up on a card. i got to find my little sticky notes. There they are. And like I said before, you don't necessarily have to have these. You could use a uh, makeup sponge and get the same results. I have them, so I'm going to use them today. I think I'm going to put this one down and over. All right. Where is, there it is. Put these guys up. I bought this tiny set of watercolor pencils. They're just tiny little pencils. But I wanted to try them, see if they were any good. They came from China. Um, I ordered them on eBay. And they work alright. They're just tiny. But I didn't pay much for them, just a couple of dollars, so. I'll need my greens out of there here in just a little bit. This is my dark blue. And I have some other things that I'm going to try on a card that I've been thinking about. I'm, I know it's probably not an, well I know it's not an original idea, but it, I've never done it, so I'm going to try using a few products that I got from Tuesday morning, same place I get a lot of products. That's not bad. Now, I need a green. What did I do with... Oh. I'm a ding-dong, I swear. This one is Evergreen Bow. And I'm going to try it, see if it'll work. I'm only doing one side because the other side I'm going to do the little cityscape. And also something else. I'm going to use one of the other stamps. 
I stuck my thumb right in that. Can you? Good grief. I'd say, can you believe it? But I, you probably can. Um, let's leave that one out. Down on there. Now I need to cut this off. So I'm debating on if I want to put a mat behind this. Let's try four and an eighth by five and three eighths. All right, so I kept this one out so that I could go around the edges. And you know what? I may just take this directly to this. Cute. And on the inside, I'm going to use kind of a lavender. I'm trying to use some scraps that I have, but I'm going to use a lavender mat stamped Mom, You're Incredible. And then on the outside, I'm going to use this dark purple, more of an eggplant color. And then Again, I did the background the same, and I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to do the little cityscape. I haven't decided yet, so I still need to go around the edges of this since I cut it down. What is this? Evergreen bell. And even though I may do the cityscape down here, I'm still going to use the green around the edge of the card. Just to make it little pop a little. aren't very good on that. Oh wow, I really screwed up on that one. Right down here. I'm going to leave it though because the way I'm going to cut this out, part of this is going to get cut off. So, not going to worry about it. I need a bigger stamp block. I don't know where that quit recording. But I stamped my little cityscape in this Memento London Fog. So I got that cut out. And now I'm going to take this um, yellow out of this color box petal point pigment option pad in Aurora. I got this at a um, garage sale a couple of summers ago when I first started getting into stamping 
and it, you could tell that they'd use different colors together because it was already, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some of the colors had already been mixed together, like this one is down here. So I just use it every now and then when I need a one of those colors. I am just going to take this little thing. I don't know what this thing is called. Um, like a light ray or that's how I see it. I don't know why I inked this whole thing up. There. See, you can't tell where I messed up on the cape because I cut that part off. I knew I'd have to lose part of the cape because I laid it in there ahead of time to see if it would fit. Should go around it in yellow. Should I? How old this thing is? It doesn't say on the back, but it's still super moist. So now, that'll be up like this. So since I used lilac and, and that eggplant color, I'm going to use purples and pinks for her little outfit there. That light being up there puts a heck of a glare. I'm going to have to move that. my light with my camera and put my camera back where it belongs and there's not that glare so hopefully this will help hopefully I'm just adding a little bit of shadow right in this area where there might be one I'm using that as a little bit of a shadow. I don't know a whole lot about shadows and all that stuff because I'm not an artist. 
but I know that when I've added it, it seems to make a difference when you see it in real life. I don't know if I like this pink that's in here though. Let's see. I don't mind it so much out here. Well, I've got about 15 layers of color on there. What is this one? There, I'll put a highlight with my uh, Signo gel pen. Take this guy, we'll move her out of the way. Um, let me give you my measurements, by the way. This one is four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and this one is four by five and an eighth. And these are the ones that go inside. And then, just a second, and I'll give you the ones for the outside. This is a little crooked right here, so I'm going to cut it. I don't know why I can't seem to cut paper straight. But I have more issues with that. There, that's better. I need to clean this trimmer. I keep forgetting about it. That's better. straight to me. So I guess I'll go off this side. Four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this one is four by five and a quarter. And it's going to go on there like that. But first I want to put a ribbon on here. Where do I want to put it? Let's do it down lower. And twist it twice. Go around twice. Normally, I wouldn't waste a bunch of ribbon by going around and around and around it. Normally, I would cut it only at the length it needs to be instead of wasting all of this back here. But, I'm not going to do that today. Today, I'm just going to wrap it. And I mean, I had 50 yards of this to use. And I got it for less than a dollar, so. Now, I need to get.
get my ATG because it's stickier than this is. And since I put this ribbon like this, I need something stickier. I could have used my tear tape that's close by, but I just didn't. See what I mean by sticky? Super sticky. I'll put it up in this corner and then I'll add a little bit of bling and I'll be done. I need to throw away this old jacket. It's just so comfortable. So broken and so comfortable. You know when you break in a t-shirt where it's nice and soft and it's just it becomes your favorite t-shirt because it's so soft and comfy. That's what this jacket is like for me. Yeah, this dovetail doesn't look right to me. Now I need some bling. I need some purple bling. Um, oh, and I need to put a little heart on her chest. Hopefully my camera won't shut off. Oh, you know, I could use sequins instead this time. Maybe I'll do that. I keep forgetting to use them. I pull out the bling because it's self-adhesive and easy to use and plus it's hanging right here next to me. So I forget about it. But I have all these beautiful sequins. Hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Thanks for spending a little time with me, guys. I certainly appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.